Your harbor is under attack. Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Looking at Rosario, it is Your once again is quite a lot of attack. ships that are waiting here and also we have another harbor under attack, but no problem, it's just one ship passing Please by. My ships down here should come to help at some point. Let's also assign them back on a patrol route that we have in this area. And yeah, we do need to do something about this one here. So I would like to have another pier. We still have a little space where I can squeeze in another pier. So they would be close together though. You look at that. It's possible, but the ships would clip, you know, and I don't like that. I don't like seeing how they clip all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another pier um, in this area. But before we do that, what we should be doing here is having some of these depots there, right? The depots, I love them very much because they kind of like have this feeling of having a decent um, harbor area or like, you know, having a port here actually with some piers there as well. Our case, that is the, the, the word for it. And let's just have another pier then in this area. So they kind of like, we have three of them now. This means another one can go into the queue there. And as we can see, <laughs> it's really just a lot of ships waiting there. I hope with three piers, we should be fine. Um, we could also have a lighthouse, which is just a nice touch to the whole thing. Um, I guess, why not? A lighthouse far outside, of course, as it is with lighthouses. And they kind of like show where the harbor is and where it's starting. I think this is a very nice, it's a, it's a mod, by the way. So it's just a, an ornamental building that we have there. And yeah having a bit of an ornament. But what we can do is actually we could do it to nighttime and then look at the lighthouse. Isn't that a nice touch that we have to the whole thing? I don't think that I've put it on night mode yet. The game looks very beautiful in night as well um, with all the lights that we have. And this is changing even more with electricity. Now, speaking of electricity, that is something I cannot do right now because we simply don't have the resources. My current goal is to get the work commuter peers um, online. That is quite important. Um, yeah, we're losing this n smaller ship there again. I think it's the Admiral and yeah, this is the final straw in the whole thing. Some of you might complain now again that once again I have not defended this island here. I just did not expect such an attack there on a small useless island there. So we are just going to lose this one but um don't worry the admiral is going down because of that i'm preparing my fleet right now we do have some influence i'm building more and more ships of the line now um if there's a frigate for sale i will just add it to the whole thing there as well like this one here and my current goal is the admiral for good so we're going to take this island here and then we're going to take his main island of course this is going to be a bit more problematic but overall um, losing a few ships is worth it if we get a big, big island. Now, in that case, he's taken it, but it's just 29 um, minutes, you know, that we're losing it. So my ships can now go in here and, yeah, destroy those two ships of the line here because they deserve it. And as we can see, the first one is going down rather quickly. And the second one we're going to take down now as well. Oh, this one's taking a lot of damage there, though. But yeah, it's wartime again. I'm focusing a bit on war again. We do need to get rid of the Admiral, the first player. Um, of course, we do have the AI shipyards. We might actually add Hugo Mercier at some point to the game as well to follow his quest line because he got a very cool quest line overall. But in that case, taking down the first opponent is important. Miss Hunt is another problem though in the new world. So we do have, of course, Miss Hunt. That problem still persists. Um, she's a, a, a tougher nut to crack. I should say, um, but that's for later. Right now, another ship is coming out then soon. Then we would have, I think, 10 ships of the line coming together and a frigate. And this should be good to go then, right? In that case, as we can see what is happening here, he's taking the island, but it is um, recently conquered, so it's under ceasefire. That also means that it's not attacking anything, you know, so it's just an um, empty island for us. And um, as long as it's ceasefire, it also doesn't attack our ships. Um, and once the ceasefire is over, I will just go back at it. Now, um, let's go my, get my ships off the line. We got a few that are going to gather here. This one needs some repair back again. Let's have a look at the resources. Now in Catan, what I think we can do now is having the commute pier, and we should be going for the commute pier to share the workforce. There it is. Oh, some steel beams, right? But that's an easy task. And while we wait for the commute pier, um, let's upgrade a few more houses. So we do have lots of farmers. My goal is to not have farmers in Rosario anymore. Um, that means we need to upgrade a lot of them. Of course, that cost me some timber there. 
Oh, there we don't have that much timber as well, so I should be careful about that. Let's take 100 steel beams and get that to Catan, where we have that. That is one thing. And on the other hand, let's just see for the timber. We do have a trade route, that is this one here. And instead of taking the steel beams here, which is just too much anyway, we're just going to load timber in addition from Archie, even though we do have a timber production. Um, in that case, it's not enough. I need more because especially I need a lot of timber for all the um, ships that I'm constructing all the time. But what we can do still is getting rid of that lumberjack hut. I also would like to expand my town then a bit into the, uh, those directions there and also up here where we still have the bakeries. So that is another thing I need to think about. The bakeries I'm probably going to move down to this area. Now we do have everything ready for it and let's build the commute pier. For that I will probably, wait a second, yep, get rid of the fisher huts here. We can move them to this side here that we still have a nice beach. So I'm going to add another warehouse in this area and then some, let's just say three fisheries since Catan is also getting a bit bigger there. This is fine. A few fisheries and now we can finally build it. The pier, there it is. Commute pier shares inflow, uh, shares the workforce with every um, island that also has a commuter pier. So this is a pretty powerful um, building that we have and I'm going to squeeze it in there right next to my main building, I think. And there it is, in all its glory. Of course, we could then have some paved roads here as well to make it even more beautiful. So this is the first one, nothing changed yet. Why? Because we don't have another commute pier at the moment. And this is something that we want to do in Rosario. Now in Rosario, hmm, space-wise, we don't have that much space. We do have a shipyard. At the moment, I'm not building that many ships. Um, and I will probably move the shipyards to this area then anyway later, because here we're going to have our industrial port. Um... So one shipyard will be fine then, so we're just going to wait now for this ship of the line coming out and then I can place the commute pier in this area. Even though, wait a second, I might also squeeze it in like that. Right, and we will have um, depots then here anyway once the shipyard is gone. So this is possible. But let, now nah, let's just wait. I want to connect it with the city there as well to also look a bit more beautiful. We have timber. Let's build a few or let's upgrade a few more houses. As we can see, there's still lots of artisans that want to upgrade. The workers and the farmers at the moment not. That is because of the workload. So that we also need another... Because demand has arisen, of course, because we've also built more in Catan. I should improve my work cloth production. And in that case... Yeah, Catan is a bit tight there with the workforce. So my goal is to have the commute pier. Ah, what the heck? Wait a second. We do have, of course, our industrial area. So we should just place it here, right? This is perfectly fine. We're going to have the oil harbor Your here harbor and the commute pier here. Attack. And thus we've shared it. And as we can see, there is now a ship coming out of it, which is kind of like just ornamental. Not and this is just during that we now have an island connected. And that is Catan. And in Catan, we now have the workforce shared. So all of a sudden, we have a 1,000 farmers and almost 2,000 workers. Um, that's pretty amazing. So what we can do with that is, well, we can first of all, finally finish our furnaces. Since we do now have the workforce for it. And, you know, they need a lot of workers. That is over here. We also have, oh, the ship of the line is now finished too. So that shipyard here would not be needed anymore. And down here, yeah, wait a second before I go with that attack. I will have to finish my work cloth production, which is quite important. Um, as we can see, hmm, what do we see actually? <laughs> there we have space. There is a lumberjack hut that I don't need anymore. And in that area, having a few sheep farm is, is no fine it. and we will probably also have some additional framework knitters then in this area right -o. let's have under what island is under attack the one here all right they're getting really annoying for the, the NPCs, Your so she's taking this island here, but as I said, you know, it's it's not a big deal for now. Oh, she's moving away again. No, she's just moving around. We really have to go against the AI. We've been idle way too long. They're building up some fleets there again, which I cannot afford. 
Ah, they're kind of pushing away again. That's fine. Let's take the island there. I need to weaken the enemies. We're going to take this one. And while we take this one, let's go back here. Fine, I can squeeze in two here and then probably another two in this area there too. Right, so they have enough there. I will need two more framework knitters. Attention. And they're moving in now, already under attack as my fleet is approaching. Now we got two cannon towers here. Um, that means that I probably will lose one ship, even though this ship here, which is the target right now, is just going to move away again. It's still firing while it's passing by, but it should be out of reach when it's down. When it's almost down, that is. And my other fleet is now attacking the cannon towers here. And look at that, it's not doing that much damage with so many ships attacking at once. It's incredible how much this one takes. It's a cannon tower there. And what I can see is Miss Hunt is in the middle of my area there too. There is my patrol. Oh, Miss Hunt, you're also going down for this. Take the Admiral as an example. This is not looking good. Nah, it's going down. It's going down. The cannon tower needs to go down, otherwise I'm taking too much damage there. Very good. Now it's the cannon. And what's going on here? She's taking out my clippers one by one. Can't allow that. Not in perfect working order. Even though clippers, of course, are not that expensive, so they're easy to replace, but still, it is annoying to have this additional work. There's one ship of the line going down for her. And then we're going for this one, while we also still, of course, conquer this island here. The defense is down, so my ships are now attacking the main building directly. Morale is crumbling. We should have Porto Kale now. Very good. There, we've taken it. There is also some loot. Let's have a look at that and also some items. But I still have some fighting to do up here. We can still chase this one down. How is it looking here? 17 minutes for the ceasefire. Then we we'll can take this one back. And she was not able to take this island here. Even though, yeah, it's still without defenses. And I know I should put some defense there. But I just don't have the resources for it. Because we need them for other things. Okay, um, did I lose something here? Yes, I lose two clippers, lost Ship three clippers, in fact. So she did quite a lot of damage there to my fleet. Um, let's build one clipper. Let's build a second clipper again. I got another ship of the line ready as well. And we can purchase another clipper up here by Archie. This island's ours now. So what is the loot there? Oh, lots of windows. That's pretty cool. That's worth a lot. Let's get this back right to Rosario. All right, and those ships stopped again, so this is really a bit annoying there that they stop all the time. Um, we should have, don't we have a patrol here? No, we don't. All righty, so let's build one up again. From here, right to the center, where she is usually passing by, down here to call for her. Right, so those ships are on patrol again. There's some frigates and ships of the line coming in there. And, oh, right, in Catan we had a fighter with the fisheries. Um, how's it looking with the wool production? The wool cloth production, that is. We can still, of course, have a few more industrial buildings. So I'm inclined to go with two more framework niches. And two more sheep farms. As always, I endure. She 
could not defeat my island. Very good. And in that case here, I love how much windows we did get. Lots of bread there too, even though bread I don't need that much. We might sell it. Let's get it to Rosario now. There's still more loot. How much more Flotsam is there? And we do get a former Corsair captain. Let's just have a look at the Flotsam. Oh, come on. You can do this. Some more bread. And steel beams. And steel beams. <laughs> and steel beams. Very good. We do need a lot of steel beams to be uh, to be honest. We have enough timber now as well again. And I will also need, beside replacing now the routes that we just lost. Rover. And down here the schnapps. Cloudburst. I will also need a new trade route. And that is going from Catan to Rosario. And that is work clothes. Right, because look at that, how much work clothes we have in Catan. And we don't need that much. And we can get it to Rosario right away. A new trade route is active. Of course, this corridor is very important. As we've just seen, it's very easy for Miss Hunt to go after us with her ships. And she is really hard, though. She's got a huge defense on her islands. I mean, come on. I will need a lot of ships for that. The Admiral, though, is my first goal. He is also bad here, though. This will be... Quite hard. Let's build another ship of the line. And another ship of the line. So two more are coming out. We still can afford that. I'm probably going to build up the deep biggest fleet that we had so far. Worth 10 plus ships of the line to attack the Admiral. This island here will be my first target. Yeah, yeah. Just build something up here. You're going to lose it again soon. The workload is working now too. Let's just go back to Rosario. The thing, the reason is we have workload. Um, we have workers in Catan and we have workers in the Rupture. So of course I, I miss kind of like building more workload production. So this is coming back to us right now, but it's not a big deal. It's just you know we're just losing a few minutes there. It's still fine though, and we can still continue with upgrading. I will definitely upgrade more in the Rupture. And by the way, in the Rupture we should also go Flagship with a commute pier. Let's go back to Rosario. We have lots of windows. That's beautiful. Set sail. And I will just need another clipper to deliver that to... Oh, and there's a ship of the line for sale. Look at that. We just got another ship of the line for 50,000. Something we can definitely afford. Archie, you're very good to us. Gotta say that. I like that. All right, here... Um. I would like to, I would really like to upgrade right now, but we just don't have the people for it. Or the, the work clothes. And another thing that I wanted to do is the bakeries. Now the bakeries, I don't want to have them up here anymore, as I said. So we're going to move the bakeries. Unfortunately, on this difficulty, it's not possible to do that. But what we can still do is we can move them one, two, three, four, five it is. And as we can see, they're very, sh well, small. So we can squeeze in quite a lot of them. Really we still them. don't need... A warehouse here too. Hmm, where should we have that warehouse without minimal, without too much damage? This is possible. And then we probably can have, yep, some here together. Right, and then we can we could still have lots of bakeries in this area, by the way. Squeezing in another one here, upgrading my warehouse, and now I can get rid of those guys here. And boom, we do have a bit more space again for more upgrades. Another thing is my balance at the moment, and that is probably due to the rum not coming in. So let's just have a look. Yep, rum is down. Have we lost the rum trade route? No, but there's only one ship on it. Of course, that is not enough. So Brilliant is another ship on it. Let's just check there in the new world. How is Pleasance looking? Pleasance is looking fine. And rum is... Yeah, there's too much rum here as well. So we'll probably, or not probably, but most likely have to build a few depots. And for that, let's also build another clipper. In fact, let's build two clippers in Salzverde. Um, because here we have the bricks. We don't have a brick production in Pleasance. And then I will have to build some depots. Oh, and there's also been a fire here. 
This is probably the most difficult thing in Anno that you have to manage all your islands and you never know really when there was a fire or a plague. The game notifies you of course at some point but it's just not not something to keep in mind all the time. At least I cannot do that. It's one of my many faults. Let's unload the steel beams. Look at that. We have 400 tons of steel beams. That is just beautiful. And with my flagship, let's get some of the reinforced concrete as well, of which we don't have that much. So reinforced concrete is something that I need to ramp up as well. Let's get the steel beams down here to rupture so we can build our commute pier in that area too. My balance. Where is the rum? First of all, the queue here of clippers is gone. So three piers is definitely not now enough. In that case, there is another... Oh, the pirate has ramped up his ships there as well. She's also got ships of the line now. This one is going down though. And for this one, I usually don't like to do this as you know, but for this one, I will like to go with the flotsam. Right, so this one here, let's just check the flotsam with another clipper passing by. Ah, it's just some rum. All right, we can continue. A new commission. So hopefully once the rum comes in, my balance should explode again. The only Hi. question is now, where is that rum? It's not coming in right now. Even though my balance is going... Nah, it's not looking good. We do need to increase our rum production. Yes, and once again in Salsa Verde, well, she is annoying us with destroying our fish production, but, you know, it's one of the cheapest productions ever, so it's not, not a big deal. And another thing, though, in Salsa Verde is that we do need a better defense. So I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to need another clipper. It's incredible how many clippers you need. Um, there. A fire broke out. Let's get us another clipper there. Yes, yes, yes. This is not a big deal. I need another clipper Ship to get the attack. weapons to Rosa uh, to Salsa Verde. And what we can also do right now is, while I wait, let's also upgrade our harbor in Rosario to the highest level. There it is in all its glory. And of course, we can now take more goods as well. Alright, so far so good. Um, building up my fleet and yeah, the Admiral is my target. Still, stay tuned.